Okay, so right here in front of me, I have my laptop. This is an HP Envy X360, it's the 15 inch model with the AMD Ryzen processor. So that's not the point of today's video. Today I'm going to be upgrading it. So it's already a very solid machine, but some things could be better. Uh, for starters, when I first got it, I only got eight gigs of RAM with it because, well, I had to spend my own money and stuff is expensive. So I saved some money, went with eight gigs, figured I could upgrade down the line. So right here, I have a 16 gig kit of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 running at uh, 2400 megahertz. So it's two eight gig sticks so I can get dual channel with that. And then I'll have my uh, two four gig sticks that I'll take out of this that I'll do something with. Um, I figured while I'm in here, I can do some other improvements. Um, I'm not swapping out the SSD. The SSD is upgradable and so is the hard drive. So the one I have has a 256 gig SSD and no hard drive. So if I wanted to, theoretically, I could install a hard drive or swap out the SSD. I'm not going to do that. I'm fine with my um, 256 gig SSD. And to be honest, I don't know if, since I got it without the hard drive, I don't know if it has the bracket in there, but it has space for it. So what I am going to do is I'm going to repaste the laptop. So thermal paste is a compound, it's a paste really, that is put on top of a processor die, a CPU, GPU, whatever, um, and under whatever is making contact with it to cool said processor. So the better quality thermal paste, the better cooling results you can get up to a certain point in, you know, within margin of error and whatnot. Uh, so, you know, the stock one hasn't been too terrible, but might as well upgrade it. So here I have a brand new, still sealed package of Arctic MX4 thermal compounds. Good stuff, highly rated, uh, eight year durability supposedly, but whatever, hopefully it'll last at least a few years. So those are the two upgrades, new memory, and repasting. How am I going to do this? Well, first of all, I need the laptop right here. Um, I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel to wipe off the old thermal paste, so that's important. And right here I have the iFixit precision driver toolkit thing, like Mako, something, something like that. It's not sponsored. I paid this up for this project with my own money. And honestly, like I could use some precision drivers anyways. Like this comes with a lot of stuff. Only like, I think I only pay like $25. Pretty good deal. So this is what I'm gonna be using to take apart this laptop. And the last thing you need is another device, in this case my phone, that has the instructions. So I've already read the instructions, so I know what I need to be doing. But just in case, I have that right there. I also have right up here, a second camera. You guys can see the tripod here. Um, so that way I'll be able to show you guys what's going on without having to move cameras around and refilm. So yeah, I've got two cameras, it's awesome. What's going on here? So, um, First thing, make sure if you are going to upgrade, I would recommend run some tests first. Get a kind of a baseline. So I ran an IDA64 stress test. After about 20 minutes, it was pretty steady at about 87 degrees, which is actually not bad at all um, for an OEM laptop. There we go. First thing, you get to the bottom of your laptop. Let me just frame this a little bit. There we go. Now, this will be different for every laptop. Look at your guide. But for this one, there's these two strips and there's uh, these three screws. Yes, and there will be more screws under these strips. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these screws and put them somewhere safe where you won't lose them because you need them to you know, put your laptop back together. So this laptop uses a Torx T5 bit for the screws. And then I think it was a Phillips P0 as well. We'll get to that when we get to that. So first I'm gonna take out these three screws right here. You guys can see what I'm doing. Also keep in mind if you're doing this, more than likely this will void your warranty. Um, especially the repasting thing. Memory maybe not so much, but repasting will definitely void your warranty. So just be aware of that when you do this upgrade. I've had this laptop for a year now. You guys can see I made a video about having used it for a year. So I'm not quite worried about the warranty. So I'm gonna take off these strips. In theory, you should be up. It appears that there's nothing under this one actually. Wow. There's holes for screws, but not screws. There we go. So that also keeps safe because you don't want to uh, lose that obviously. So here we go. Okay, so these are the Phillips head.
So that one I'm going to put slightly separate, but also it's a bigger screw so I know what it is. So make sure you can keep track of what your screws are and where they go. Next you can reach in towards the back and try to start trying to pry it off. Why is it? Sometimes you can get it open with your hands, sometimes if it's the first time you need a flatter bit to try to pry it open. Get them clicks, and we're open. Whew. That was uh, way more difficult than it should have been. While we have it open, we can take some time to kind of see what we have. See this, okay, so, yeah, no, not really any, so I could not add in a hard drive if I wanted to. There's a space for it, but none of the brackets or the cables. But here's what I was saying in my dream laptop video. This is a bunch of empty space. Take this thing and extend it all the way out. And also there's some space, you know, kind of here by the edge. Yeah, so generally here's our SSD. Here we have our memory modules that are here. Under here we have our processor. Here's the cooling fan. So we're gonna be opening this section up specifically to get under here, repasting here and replacing memory modules here. And uh, yeah, so the first thing we wanna do is, um, dis is take out this battery. So the, to remove the battery, or we want to disconnect the battery, but to disconnect the battery in this model, you have to just straight up remove the whole thing. So I'm going to get this Phillips head again. See, the thing is, I have like a, a parts mat thing, a, screw, a mat for screws. I left it over in my dorm room in, back in college. Alrighty, so now that this is out, it just slides out and then we don't have to worry about any battery issues. We're gonna put this off to the side as well. So, we wanna get under here. No, so don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, check that, nice. So we're gonna take this little sticker thing, remove it, I'm just gonna stick it right there. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. So I have a, just a Walmart gift card. Ugh. And there we go. We have two... Oh, and they're made by Samsung. Okay, so that's good. It's good, high quality. You just pull away those tabs, so I don't, I don't know if you can see that. There's just two tabs. You just pull them away, and the thing flips up, and then you can take the module out. Same thing on the other side. Just two tabs. The thing flips up. You just take the module out. So you get a stupid warranty information sticker thing. I'm just gonna put it on the other side of this module. Whoop. Whoop. So once those are out and nicely, nicely to the side, let me just get your new one. We have our beautiful black instead of green that no one's ever gonna see um, ram sticks. So then you gotta line up the notch in the memory with the notch on here. Stick it in kind of at a diagonal and then push it down until you see both click. You can test this by pulling it out and then clicking it back in again. Same for the other side seat. Oh, wait, what? Oh yeah, see. If I try putting it in the same logo up, the notch doesn't line up and it doesn't go in. So I have to put it the other way, so that the notch lines up, it goes in, and boom. Easy peasy. So now the memory mo new memory modules are in. So I'm going to put this thing back on. Oh, how did this thing go? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Can I click it? Yeah, so it should just click back into place. RAM upgrade is done. Now let's repaste this darn CPU. We're first gonna wanna, you know, take off these four screws. Now this one is pressure sensitive. So I recommend doing the two diagonal screws first and then the opposite two diagonal screws.
Now, boom, you can see it clicks off. And then some more screws here and here, and then this also needs to be unplugged right there. So yes, the three screws are out and we just, boom, the whole thing comes off and that tape. So here's our, um, the entire CPU cooler for this uh, laptop. Really thin fan, not terrible. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take our paper towel, take our isopropyl alcohol, and it's a brand new freaking bottle. Oh, awesome. Isopropyl alcohol is technically non-conductive. We don't necessarily wanna leave any on. So just get a dab of it on your CPU and just kind of clean it off there and wipe off all the thermal compounds on the processor and on your heatsink. You want to get it all nice and clean. Now, processor is clean, heatsink is clean. I can open up this thermal compound. Paper towel back, and I'm just going to do a quick test just to make sure I know how it comes out. Okay. Cool. So now you just go and you just put like a pea size, nothing more, like a grain of rice. Well, may have just put a little too much, but that's fine. That's fine. It's uh, see just a little, a little gloop. I'm gonna kind of spread it a little bit on the CPU. Make sure that once it's actually normally on a CPU, if you just put it in the middle, the pressure of the heatsink will just kind of spread it out. Um, this is a little different because it's not really quite square or whatever. Um, we're not we don't have a heat spreader under it. It's just directly the die itself. Um, so I'm spreading it out a little just to be absolutely safe that it. Covers everything. So I'm going to put this back. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put these screws on first, and then the fan. Because what's most important is as soon as we get this to make contact, we get it down, secured, and pressured ASAP. So be very careful about this. I set it down and apply some pressure. You can hear it kind of click, and I'll start getting. It's screwed back in. Remember, diagonal screws first, and then the other diagonal. So you apply even pressure across the entire thing, and then you can start just tightening it all the way down. Make sure that it's tightened all the way down. Maximum pressure. There you go. Now we can put these three fan screws back in. Oh, that just popped in. You get that in, you get the cover back on. Um, battery, where's the battery? Here's the battery. And then, oh, I get that on top of the battery screws. So again, kind of just slots. Kind of down and forward, I believe. There we go, there we go. So that's just nice and in there. This screw, this one was the special one. Where did this one go? Look here, I think. Okay, so that's all in there. I'm going to Plug the chassis or back cover back on, but I'm not going to screw it in. But yet, I'm gonna first just clip it on. Make sure you get it all the way around. Make sure it's in there. Oof. And then let's see if it works, shall we? Now, when it first turns on, it should spout out some weird errors. Oh, look at that. But it turns on. So I'm just gonna... Okay, go into the BIOS, and we're in. So, so far, it seems to be uh, working. Everything's being detected. Total memory, 16 gigabytes. So I'm gonna snap a quick picture of that. 
So, so far Windows looks like it's loading. And oh, uh, 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 and we're in. Windows hello. Boom, we are in and okay. We've got our processor showing, it's doing its thing. And we have 16 gigs of memory. So again, another picture for the proof. All right, we got some of this. Wonderful. Everything looks like it's going well. Ah, Chrome, let me Chrome. So I'm going to put all the screws in back exactly where I found them-ish. All right, so I've been running Ida64 stress test for almost 20 minutes now and the thermal paste upgrade worked. We were at 80, 81 degrees before, now we're at 75 degrees. It is amazing. Um, and another thing that I noticed with the old thermal paste, it took probably about 10 minutes of slow climbing and then 10 minutes of being steady at about 80 degrees with occasional tiny peaks at 81. Um, this one, within the first like two minutes, it was already settled around 74, 75. Um, right now it's peaking a little at 76, but yeah, so about six degrees lower and it was way faster to reach that peak, way faster to kind of settle instead of keep climbing. Um, so that's definitely good. So all in all, the upgrades worked. Um, it's the processor's running cooler, which means when I'm not doing, you know, a straight up stress test, um, the fan might be a bit quieter. And I now have 16 gigs of RAM in this thing. So all in all, I am very happy. That's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, definitely leave a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any, you know, comments to say. Uh, subscribe to see more cool videos like this one. You can actually see coming up in two weeks, less even, CES 2019. I am very excited. I'll be editing everything on this upgraded laptop. Very excited for that. So definitely stay subscribed for that. Uh, follow me on Twitter for the first updates on everything. Uh, if you follow me, you would have known the day I did this, that I did this, instead of whenever it is that this video comes out. So follow me at Solid State Tweet, and that's all. So I guess I will see you guys in the next one.